Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So I know I've been MIA a little bit, maybe not a lot. I don't really know. It's been a hot minute since I actually sat down and filmed a video for YouTube. Um, I've been like filming like little like weekly vlogs or whatever. Um, but even that I haven't even posted in like two weeks. <laughs> um, but hi, how are you? How's everything going? I'm going to be honest with you, headspace to film this video, not the greatest, but I wanted to get this video out because I've had these clothes hanging behind my door in my room for literally like a month and a half to almost two months now because I've just kind of been like accumulating these pieces and I was like, ooh, I'm going to like film a fashion haul and everything like that, but I am I kid you not, I think ever since I got my IUD replaced and put back in, it's just like a whirlwind of emotions and I fucking hate birth control. If you guys want to be more up to date about that, I will link those videos down below. Um, they're like vlog style videos, so I mean like you could just play it while you're driving or like while you're cleaning your room or whatever, but anyways, let's get into this video. I didn't really know what the vibe was for this year, honestly. I didn't know if we were buying clothes for the spring and summer. I didn't know what was going to happen. Um, I know as things are starting to reopen again, obviously as humans, like we need interaction, so I was like, I'm going to buy... I'm going to start to buy some spring and summer clothes. Even if I don't go anywhere per se, I can always throw it on a cute outfit, go take pictures, like socially distance, obviously, and then like go have a picnic or something or like come home and like go in my backyard, you know, like things like that. Um, so I decided to just pick up a few pieces. It's not a big haul. Do not worry. It's a couple pieces. That's it. But this is just kind of like my starting, my starting haul from like winter to summer, winter to spring. If you guys want to check out my other fashion videos, I'll link them down below for you as well. And just keep in mind, I am 5'3". I wear between a 4 and a 6. Kind of just depends on where I'm ordering from. Depends on the material and all that. And for my chest, I do have a larger chest. And I have a whole video on that as well. So I'll link that down below and somewhere here for you. If you guys want to check it out. Um, so my chest size is a little bit bigger. I do wear a triple D. So I can go anywhere between a small and a medium. And you'll see that. It just depends on the store. And yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> I used to be a really big like Forever 21 person and I I even used to love Misguided, but I noticed like especially like purchasing a lot of clothes throughout quarantine and then kind of purging clothes, a lot of them were from Misguided and Forever 21 and I think it's because of the quality. Like you get really great pieces. They're hit or miss though from both of those stores. Um, I've been shopping at Zara a ton. You guys know I'm obsessed with Abercrombie and Fitch. Like, I've never shopped at Abercrombie this much as a child or a teen than I have as an adult right now. And I have two tops here in this haul from H&M. H&M is more of like that business casual like vibe, I feel like, and boho kind of vibe not really my thing but they do usually have some great pieces as well but i want to know where you guys get your clothes from because i need some new places to shop from i've been shopping from like nasty gal and um i've been like browsing on princess polly but like it's just not my vibe like i'm okay with a lot of like with my cleavage showing like i'm okay with some boob you know like i got them I, i'm gonna i'm gonna flaunt them but i'm also very self-conscious in a way about my chest because it is so big and I know that it's an eyesore for some people and that just makes me uncomfortable especially if I feel like they're staring so I don't like a lot ton of cleavage as you guys will see like in this haul I really don't have much many tops that show a lot of cleavage like there's this top here that I got from Windsor which is so cute because you get that cleavage like you can obviously tell I have a chest but it's still Covered. Like there's some coverage. This video is just is really hard for me to film right now because my my headspace right now like The hormones in this IUD are fucking me up and I just feel very bloated and I just feel very self-conscious about my body right now But I guess that's life and that's about that's like that's on being a girl You know, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to mention that I mean like if you're not feeling the greatest about your body or anything like that just know that you're still beautiful because I'm just trying to remind myself of that as well. So let's start with the two tops that I got from H&M. I cannot wait to wear this top. It's so stinking cute. So this one is obviously from H&M and it's this cute, how freaking adorable. So I, if you guys watch like my, my tops for a big chest, you guys know like there are certain cutouts and 
types of clothing that I don't really like wearing because it can accentuate my chest more and because I have a large chest I try to hide it as best as I can whilst also still flaunting it and because a large chest can also make you appear larger and I personally don't like that it doesn't do anything for my confidence it actually lowers it so I thought I would pick this up because I liked it a lot and I like that you can scrunch it up so this is what it looks like it's basically this beautiful green color with like these little flowers on it I will show you guys a close-up I will show you guys a close-up of it on me but this is just so adorable and I thought that this would look so cute with a pair of like white jeans and like a jean jacket or like a light color wash jean and like a white denim jacket I just think it would look so cute and yeah that's that's it and I got this in a size small and I think it did I try this on I don't even know if I tried this on I I don't mind it because it's got this stretch in the back so yeah that's pretty much it the next top I got from H&M the last top pretty much that I got from H&M I did get it in a medium because it has buttons and sometimes when a top has buttons because of my chest it could open it and I don't like that I don't like it at all um so this is what it looks like it's super cute this white top with like the buttons running down it little ruffles on the sleeves I thought this would be so cute with like a skirt I actually have a skirt in this haul that I think it would look really cute with or just like you know a pair of like paper bag shorts tucked in a little bit or even like a pair of denim shorts and flip-flops I mean you can't go wrong with it it is it does have these like iridescent -y cream buttons on it but I think it's so cute and it also again has that stretch in the back I I know I just said that I'll be fine with that top because it's got the stretch in the back but I did get this in a medium because when you have a big chest, it can kind of pull. It could kind of pull and you get that little hole and I don't like that. I did purchase this top that I'm wearing right now. I'll do a close up for you in a little bit, but this is from Windsor. I love it so much. It is in a size medium, I, but I think that this top would look just so cute with like a light wash or even like a dark wash pair of jeans like to dress it up at night. You can dress this top up, you can dress it down, you can wear it, you know, for brunch or you can wear it for dinner. In the summer, I think it would just be so cute. And I love these sleeves. I love puff sleeves. I love them so much and I love a square neckline. This is a little bit more of a sweetheart neckline because it does have that little swoop here, but the arms are more of a square and I feel like you can even wear it off the shoulder as well, which I think is pretty cute but I'll probably just keep it up there. I got this really cute dress from Abercrombie. I did purchase this in a medium and I had to return it because it was way too big. It was like huge on my butt area. I don't really have a large behind. I, I carry all up in the front on top, not the back. So I got it in a different color. I originally had it in like a really nice beigey sand color. But when I wanted to return it, they didn't have that color in a small anymore. So I did get this kind. This color, this color is so pretty. It's this like really pretty rustic, orangey like dress. And I just think it's so cute. Again, it does have these stretchy backs. So I mean like I feel like that's why I can get away with it in a small. The medium wasn't big. It was big around my chest just a little bit. Like you can just tell like it was big around my chest. So it was just pretty much big all around. So that's why I ended up getting a small. And this is what a small looks like. I feel like shopping at Abercrombie, I thought I had to be a, a double zero or a zero because that's just how I felt growing up. I don't know if there was just, I don't know if like sizes have changed or whatever, but like growing up, I was always like the, a little bit more thicker and I had boobs and thunder thighs than all of my other friends. So I was like, I can't shop at Abercrombie because they fit in it. And like, I can't fit in it, you know? And it was just a long thing but once I started like wearing Abercrombie as an adult I was like I can wear a small because the small is like from a four to a six so I was like fuck that I'm gonna wear a small so yeah that's pretty much it pretty much it's so cute it's got these faux buttons going down the middle they don't open and then it's just a zipper closure and I mean and it has pockets so I mean what more could you ask for in a summer dress so I got this really cute bodysuit. I freaking love mesh bodysuits. I love mesh bodysuits so much. And this is one from Abercrombie. I did purchase this in a medium because whenever something has to go down and around and clip, you know, in between the legs, I like to have some wiggle room. I don't like it pulling like in the groin area. It's very uncomfortable. So I always size up in a bodysuit depending on where it's from. But this is what it looks like. It is so cute. So it's got some rouging down the center and then it goes smooth in the back 
It's got sheer arms, a sheer chest, not a sheer chest, a sheer back, and then the, the chest is open. It's a square neck top, as you guys can see. So if you have large boobs, I'm going to have to wear boob tape with this. Uh, but when I try it on, I'm probably going to have a bra because I don't want to waste my boob tape. Um, but it's so cute. Or you could get one of those like sticky bras that just kind of like stick in the front. If you need to wear a bra, I mean, I need to wear a bra. And it is a thong back if you guys were wondering. So I think it's so cute. And I think that this would look so cute again. It's like one of those tops that you can dress up or you can dress down. I think that this top would look so cute. You can dress it up. You can dress it down. You could wear a really nice pair of light wash denim or you can wear a pair of dark denim and just throw this on with like a pair of heels or a leather jacket you can dress it up with like a jean jacket over top i just think that this is just so versatile like you can dress it up really really dressy or you can dress it down and keep it more casual even though it looks pretty fancy but like with shirts like this that you can casualize you don't have to do a lot to them because they already look the way they look you know what i'm saying this is the skirt i was talking about this again is from abercrombie and i got this in a size small it's so cute um so i got this skirt from abercrombie it is so cute you guys won't be able to see much as i'm holding it up it does have a zipper closure this again is a size small and what i love about it it has this little slit right here it has this little slit right here again you guys will be able to see it better once i have it on but it is so freaking cute and I think this would just look so adorable with a, like a white bralette a black bralette um one of those white or black like tie shirts with like a bralette sticking out I think it would be so cute and like a pair of like black shoes black sandals a pair of black flip-flops I mean you can dress it up or dress it down like I've been saying everything else about this because I think it's just so cute and it's like this nice floral pattern I really love florals as you guys can tell I love florals and then I got this guy I got this guy it's a matching set, so freaking cute. Let me take the pants off. So this is what the top looks like. Basically, this was actually the color of the sundress that I showed you guys. This was the color that I had in a medium, but it just didn't fit. So, um, It's basically like this like woven material. It's really, really cute. It's got these clasps right in the middle to obviously keep it closed, or you can open it if you want, and then it just ties at the bottom. A little ruffle on the sleeve. It is a v-neck, which I know you guys know that I don't really love v-necks, but because my boobs look good in this, I don't mind it. And then that's the back, so it is a little bit of a crop top. And then we have the matching pants. This set is literally so freaking cute. Oh my god, this set is so cute. I got both the top and the bottom. Did I get the top? Yeah, I got the top in a small. And then I got the pants in a small as well. Um, Straight, a little bit of a flare. Not really sure, but it has pockets, so I don't fucking care. Anything that has pockets, I'm like, give it to me. Give it to me. I want all the pockets. Pause for a second. I feel like people might get a little, like, annoyed because I keep, like, referencing my chest. But, like, there's nothing I hate more than watching a clothing haul. And they get, like, an extra small or, like, an extra, extra small because they don't have a large chest. And I'm just like, I wish. You know what I'm saying? Like I, like, I wish I had a flatter chest. Like, I cannot wait till the day I have a flatter chest. Um, anyways, I don't want to sound annoying when I keep, like, going back and referencing my large bust, but I feel like it's important to keep that in mind because what it looks like on me, am I look good on me or am I look horrible on me? And guess what? That's probably because of my boobs. So, yeah, that's pretty much, um, but that's pretty much it. Little, little random, like, start of the spring and summer clothing haul i hope you guys enjoyed it i cannot wait to film more clothing hauls for you like i said leave your favorite places to shop down below in the comments because i really 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 want to know and yeah that's pretty much it if i could find everything i will leave links for them down below in the description box so make sure to check that out i love you and i will see you guys all in the next video bye